I would humbly suggest that one of the most powerful things that we as humans can do is dream. We can hope. We can pick ourselves up from one day and decide that tomorrow is going to be better. Whether that's through sheer force of will, whether that's through lessons learned, whether that's through any number of random variables. One of the worst things that can happen is somebody saying, you know what, uh, I give up. Today was bad. Uh, yesterday was bad. The week before that was bad. And I, I see no reason to continue hoping. Either hoping that things would improve or things would stop getting worse. One of the interesting things about humans is that the more of us there are, the more we keep having to deal with these ancient issues that come up that are part of the human condition. Uh, jealousy, greed, um, superstitions, and trying to make sense of everything. Sometimes things that are, seem complicated are very simple, and sometimes it's th things that seem very simple are, are very complicated. And it's important that we never give up the fight to try to understand the world around us, rather than just automatically assume that somebody else has done the the heavy lifting, the work, and we just consume what they say. When you do that, when you allow someone else to think for you and give you answers, you give up the ability to find the world fascinating and curious. Be curious about it. Uh, because someone's saying, here, this is all you need. This is all you need to know. If, if we aren't curious anymore, if we give up being curious about ourselves, about the world around us, about how we can make things better collectively, then um, my concern is, well, how do we make things better if, we, if, if people give up? And, they give up on dreaming, they give up on curiosity, they give up on seeing the world as a, a special place. Because it is, it's, it's our home. And we have some responsibility to understand it, take care of it, because it's the only one we have. Um, I, I'm paraphrasing, but I like, uh, I like the quote, it goes something along the lines of, um, meteors are the universe's way of asking, how is that space program coming along? Um, so I don't know how many people the uh, International Space Station can hold, but I, um, I would guess it's not that large of a fraction of the total human populace. We live in an interesting age where it's possible to ask questions about things that people have taken for granted for so long. We can ask questions about them. We can find out answers. We can find demonstrable, repeatable, and predictive answers to questions that man has tried to grapple with ever since man has become self-aware. So it's it's a interesting time, and I'm not talking about the last year or two. I mean, this has gone on for for decades. This growing ball of knowledge, of inquiry, and sense of wonder about things. So I 
I wake up some days and I am amazed at the things that we are learning about, again, about ourselves, about the world we live in, about the universe, about our galaxy, finding out about black holes and singularities and how all these things are happening or might happen and what's going to happen and some of it is it's it's grounded very solid science and some of it is speculative and usually the people who are espousing the thing, these things are pretty clear about this is why i think it's going to happen or this is what i can that can prove this is what's going on so as we continue to search discover find I hope that among the other things that we discover is that we are in this together. Um, if we approach it as I have more money, I have re more resources, therefore I am more entitled to a better way of living than you or something like that as opposed to someone who doesn't have resources um, doesn't have the the ability to obtain them we have to find ways of working together we have to find ways of addressing the differences that exist and either finding ways of systematically addressing them and working on them in ways so that they are phased out, reduced, or eliminated over time. I'm talking about problems and problems, not a euphemism for people. I mean problems, um, structural uh, racism, structural biases that are part of the system that exist and addressing them and finding ways of rooting them out. So it's the, the issues that are inherent to the system that we live in and finding ways of addressing them. So there's social elements. There are environmental elements. Um, there are financial elements. trying to figure out how how do we make it so that everyone has a fair shot but we don't necessarily bias things towards working out for those who already happen to be blessed with more than anyone else that's that's the difficult part um, so My hope is that people find things they can hope for, things they can dream about, not just for the sake of navel-gazing, not just for the sake of calling themselves a dreamer, but finding new ways of doing things that no one has ever thought of doing before, finding new things to be fascinated with, and doing it in a way that draws people forward in a positive way. And by positive, I mean um, life-affirming uh, means that it doesn't cost you as a person your dignity or integrity. Um, so... That's my dream, is that we find a way, not necessarily utopia, but we find ways of ignoring or removing the political landscape that says that there is no inequality, so there's nothing to address. Or the political landscape that says, you know what, um, you, you're the wrong color, you're the wrong gender. There's something wrong with the way that you are oriented sexually. Doing away with that and 
giving everyone a fair shot. That's my dream, is that not necessarily outcomes. I'm not necessarily talking about everyone has the, the right to go out and make a million dollars because that's, that's not possible. But by making it more difficult for people to get into that game in the first place, to make that million, that's part of it. Um, or whatever amount you think of when you think of someone who's rich. Money in and of itself isn't the be-all end-all. It's, it's something about being able to say, you know what, I don't have to worry about bills. I don't have to worry about where my next paycheck's coming in. I don't have to worry about a roof over my head. I'm taken care of. I can go and I can pursue other interests. I can find ways of opening up my mind. I can go experience other cultures. I can go and be a true citizen of the world and travel or, or find out just how good is a country hot dog at a Texas state fair, you know, something like that, where you can go and answer these questions that you've had. Or find new parts of, I'm using this term very, very uh, carefully, um, find a new piece of your soul. And what I mean by that is you go out into the world and you discover there's something to do or to read or to taste or something to experience you didn't know experience it was there before and then once you had it you can't let go you want more you always want more it feeds you it, it, it stirs you it does something to you that nothing has ever done before and that's possible with with little means it's possible it's also possible if you have lots of expendable income disposable income So, that's my dream, is that everyone has the ability to contribute. Everyone has the ability to succeed on their terms, with as few pre-existing obstacles as possible. So, anyway, thought I'd put that up.